Hello everyone, so in this video I'm going to be trying out some purple line cleaner for the first time. I will take through the process of how to use it and just basically check out how effective it is in a home bar type setup like the one that I've got here. So let's get into it. So I have done a video previously where I talked about how to clean and maintain the lines in your Keyser or Kegerator using sodium percarbonate and Starsan as a fairly straightforward and accessible kind of cleaning solution. And that served me pretty well, to be honest, for the sort of three years or so that I've had uh, this particular Keyser and been running it um, with the same lines pretty much the whole time. But at this point now, some of those lines have started to develop a little bit of a buildup of kind of yeast and I guess other debris from uh, the tube in the beer and so on, uh, which you'll see on the screen now. So uh, I've decided it's time to employ something a little bit more hardcore and uh, this stuff seems to be, uh, or versions of this seems to be what is used a lot in commercial uh, bars and pub settings. So I thought I'd give it a go. So yeah, uh, I'll go through the instructions on how to use this. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, you're just looking at a dilution rate of 250 mils to 10 liters, and you're gonna then pump it through the system, let it sit for a while, and then pump it out. The clever thing with purple beer uh, line cleaner is that it has a built-in indicator in it, so the purple color of it will change in the presence of uh, yeast or um, other you know, contaminants or dirt, and you basically run it through the system until it stays purple and doesn't change color. So it's kind of got a built-in uh, indicator of whether or not the job is finished essentially. So yeah, I'm gonna mix some of this up now. I need to put some gloves on because it's got a scary corrosive symbol on the back of it. Uh, so better safe than sorry. And I'm gonna use a mini keg, which we'll see in a minute, uh, basically as the cleaning vessel um, for this. So yeah, let's do it. Right, so that's all the lines running out of the keyser and I've got number one plugged into the mini keg with the cleaning solution. What we do now is just run that through until we see purple liquid coming out, which I think that's running purple now. Okay, and then we're just gonna leave that to sit in the lines for 10 minutes and then run it through again and repeat that process until what is coming out at the bottom there is purple rather than this weird swampy green looking color. So you can see it's definitely reacted to what was in uh, the line, although there was obviously some beer still in that line at that point. Um, we'll see what it comes out like on the next round. Uh, and obviously I will do the next few taps as well in the meantime, and then just follow them in sequence. Okay, so that's had a good 10 minutes. These are only very short lines in the keyser, so uh, it's only probably gonna be a very small amount of liquid to actually clear the line through. Um, but let's see what color it is at the minute. So yeah, it's changed back to purple pretty quickly, but you can see obviously that first little squirt there is definitely still manky. So I'll just run that again. So yeah, it's definitely running purple now. Uh, and I'll leave that for another 10 minutes uh, and go along the line again. So that's three passes of cleaning fluid, and you can see that it is coming through a lovely clear purple color now on pretty much all of those taps. And uh, yeah, that should be pretty much done. Just needs to be thoroughly rinsed through now. Obviously we don't want any of this cleaning product getting into the actual beer. So this was one of the quite yeasty lines that I showed you earlier on in the video. Uh, as you can see, this one has come up really nice and clean. Can't see any residue left in that at all. But a couple of them do still have some visible kind of residue left in the line there. So although the cleaning solution is still coming through and showing as purple, even in the pipe itself, I think you can see that's, uh, that's not turning color. There is a little bit left in there. So I don't think you can 100% rely on the colour alone. Probably still worth doing a little bit of a visual check. Uh, and in this case, I'm just going to run 
the cleaner through a couple more times because it has made a big difference. It's just not entirely cleaned it. I mean, I could just stop being a cheapskate and replace this little short piece of uh, beer line, but I want to try and get it clean now. So, uh, yeah, I'll give that a go. Um, this wasn't causing any kind of off flavors in the beer, by the way. For me, more than anything, what made me... Uh, resorts using the purple line cleaner was that this was starting to cause fobbing issues. So I think um, the lines were sort of clean in the sense there wasn't any bacterial issues there, but uh, the residue and yeast or whatever's building up is basically creating kind of nucleation points for the beer. So I think you're getting, or I was getting fobbing issues from that. That's my theory anyway. So yeah, um, 10 litres that I mixed up was more than enough to do four taps there, two taps there, and I also ran it through the hand pull, and you can actually see the purple color on the line there, so that cleaned that out. The hand pull was the greediest, uh, obviously, out of the all the taps, uh, so 10 liters is more than enough for six uh, taps like this. You need a little bit more if you're doing it, using it for hand pulls, but um, in this setup, 10 liters, out of there, there's still a bit left in, was more than enough. Okay, so some final thoughts on the Purple Beer Line Cleaner. It does the job really well. I've got to say, I think that it is more effective than the previous kind of sodium percarbonate and star sand combination that I was using. Um, it's removed on most of the lines the sort of buildup of residue that has developed uh, using those two kind of cleaning agents, uh, well, cleaning and sanitizing agents. Uh, that said, it's not going to work miracles. So a couple of the lines, uh, even after a few more passes, they were still just a little bit of sort of stubborn residue that stayed in them. So I think you will always eventually reach a point where you're probably just going to have to replace the lines themselves rather than be able to clean them. But I think that if I was using this regularly, I probably wouldn't have got to that point in the first place. So, um, that's where I would say it stands as far as the effectiveness of it. Um, the purple indicator sort of thing that it does is pretty handy as well. So that gives you a visual indication of what it does. Although I did show in the video that that doesn't necessarily mean that it has completely cleared everything out of the line. So just bear that in mind. Uh, visual checks and so on is probably still worthwhile doing. Do bear in mind that it does have chlorine in it. So you do need to make sure that you are thoroughly rinsing it through. Um, that's something that was maybe not quite as uh, important when you're flushing stuff through with like star sand, obviously, for example. Um, but other than that, yeah, really does the job well. Seems to be pretty economical as well. I mean, I'm definitely getting easily getting a full clean of everything that I've got here with one batch of 10 litres of this. So it seems quite expensive when you look at it. It's, uh, you get it between sort of 15 to 20 pounds for a five litre uh, bottle like this. So you're going to get at least 20 10 litres of batches of cleaning agent out of this. And yeah, that seems like pretty reasonable uh, costing to me. Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with it. Definitely going to be using this going forwards for my kind of cleaning regime and uh, hopefully doing it a bit more often so I don't have to worry about changing lines out like I'm probably going to have to do now. So yeah, that's it. Let me know if you've got any questions or if you're using... Uh, this type of cleaning agent or if you use any other alternatives and what you think of those um, all comments are welcome so yeah cheers guys i'm the dude so that's what you call me you know uh that or uh his dudeness or uh duder or uh you know el duderino if you're not into the whole brevity thing